Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez and here's your CBS on the go update. We begin with your CBS 2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Craig Herrera. All right, Juan, a couple of systems moving into the uh, northern half of the lower 48 right across Pacific Northwest bringing some more rain and some snow. Also some more snow to Minneapolis, the Twin Cities. As this system moves across the Great Lakes, you're going to see some more of that uh, lake effect snow across parts of the Midwest. Also some ice just outside of Chicago. So you'll probably hear some of the headlines of some of the ice storms moving through the area as well. More snow for Billings down through the Rockies and then uh, a little weak high pressure starting to set up over the desert southwest. We'll give Southern California a bit of a break into Sunday afternoon. More rain scattered across the Appalachians and into the southern states right to South Carolina, North Carolina, and again, the Pacific Northwest. Traveling on Saturday through Burbank. Cold starts in the morning, mostly sunny during the afternoon, 74 for an afternoon high. Over to Las Vegas, about 75, 60 in San Francisco with a break from the rain on Saturday, 84 for Palm Springs and 70 in San Diego. One. All right, Craig, thanks. Pope Francis announced Thursday that the Vatican will no longer be selling cigarettes within its walls. In a statement, the Vatican said no profit can be legitimate if it puts lives at risk. Seth Doan has details from Rome. Usually when there is talk of smoke and Vatican City, the focus is on the chimney of the Sistine Chapel, indicating whether or not there is a new pope. Now the focus is on cigarette smoke, with the Pope banning the sale of cigarettes inside Vatican City. Vatican City is its own city state. It has its own prison, its own police force, and its own duty-free shopping. Cigarettes there have always been about 30% less than they are over the border here in Italy. But Vatican spokesperson Greg Burke told us the Vatican is going cold turkey. Well, I think it's uh, quite clear, you know, that we don't want to be contributing to something which is harming people's health either our own employees or others, you know, but that, that, that's not the right signal to be sending. Smoke signal, if you want. The Vatican would not specify how much is being lost in terms of revenue from stopping the sale of cigarettes, but Greg Burke told us it is not an insignificant figure. Seth Doan, CBS News, Rome. Now here's your CBS on the go sports. One of America's biggest gymnastic stars is coming forward to say she was sexually abused by the team doctor. Allie Reisman told 60 Minutes she now wants to help other young gymnasts. I just want to create change so that they never ever have to go through this. The Olympic gold medalist says she was first treated by Dr. Larry Nazar when she was 15. Nazar will be sentenced later this month after pleading guilty to child porn charges. You can see the full interview with Reisman this Sunday at 7, only on CBS 2 on 60 Minutes. And immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. His guests are comedian John Mulaney. And right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests include actors Don Johnson and Minnie Driver. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.